<sighs> oh, hi there. I didn't see you come in. What's that? You're, uh... Oh, you're here about the, uh... One-year celebration of the channel. Well, uh, let's, uh... Thank you for coming to stop by my, uh, GeoGuessr room. And we're going to, uh, start the challenge. Are you ready? Let's go. Hmm. As I drink here, I'm going to be looking at a bit of, uh, same old, as far as GeoGuessr goes for the week, but I am progressively, well, what I'm doing is going to record these all at the same time. The past couple of weeks I've been doing it. Once every couple of days, usually the night before, but not this time, no. I'm uh, doing these all in consecutive and progressively going to be drinking throughout the entire time, starting off with some very good meat I have right now and ending up probably by Friday, <clears throat> excuse me, being a bit buzzed. And by how the previous week went, Apparently, I'm going to be a god the second um, Friday comes around, because apparently the only way I can win is if I've been drinking. So, let's uh, sit here and still figure out if this is where the hell this is, because I'm not entirely sure yet. Pakuranga Road 5. Like, I feel this could be the U.S. This could be Australia. Buses. I'm getting nothing yet. Who's This does... This is not the U.S. Okay. Alright. What is this? We're, uh... I am very confused. This is doing a very good job of, uh confusing me and this truck is there we go Auckland City okay Pakuranga is there a Pakuranga down here as I sit here and well there was a five it said there's a five but is there a Pakuranga there. No. Auckland City. Well, there's Auckland, but... Now I'm not so sure. Man. This one's doing a very good job of confusing me here. Ah, oh, man. This is... This has to be... Yep, NZ. Okay. Alright, now that we've got that out of the way, I'll take another drink here and, uh... Hmm. I guess talk a little bit about the channel and... I did start this... Okay, come on, thank you. Uh, God, this... We might hit 50? Oh, Botney Holwick. Botney Holwick and Pakuranga. Botany, Owick. Is this just like a different five? I guess I'll put you there. Oh, the five goes more. Let's follow this a bit more. Five is gone now. Owick. Why am I not seeing Owick? Am I just like 100% wrong now? This feels like it should be clearly big enough, but we'll see how bad I am here. I'm going to make guess before it happens. Oh, it was all the way up here? Is this like a different five? Oh, it totally is a different five. All right, then. Well, I got the country right. And take a big drink. Mm. All right, and New Zealand. This could be Mexico. Somewhere in South America. Hello, sir. Will you tell me where we are? 
Uh, never mind, I'll find it on my own. I think we're going to hit 50 this week. Maybe Friday will be. 50 episodes of this. Did start with Evo. I'm sure he'll come back for some of these, but... As it stands, it's been me. I have talked about doing some maybe collab stuff, challenge another person. I mentioned it before, if you've got any suggestions for somebody you'd like me to uh, potentially challenge, because granted, this is a two-way street and I'm only one person if they don't want to, or they're too busy, I can't uh, force it on them. Ohaka. I know where Ohaka is. One of my former bosses would go vacation in Ohaka. That was before it got crazy. This is a while ago. Oh, yeah, sorry. One last thing before I forget. I want to thank the person. Again, I don't have the name in front of me. Who did clear up the official languages they do taught, speak in, uh, in Switzerland. Where it's... Oh, God, now I'm going to forget. <laughs> French. Uh, German. There was another one. And then... Their own version, like their own, I guess, native language. It's It starts with an R. Basically, a little tertiary look at it. Mentioned that it is a... Uh, dialect's the wrong word, but it's a version. It, it comes from Latin, basically. And uh, just looking at the linguistic breakdown on a quick Google, sh Google search shows that it was predominantly spoken in the southeast of the country which hey, every country seems to have their own native language i guess you could call it there's clearly um looking at the uh breakdown does not look like anywhere near the most prominent this is his Ohaka. I don't think it's like straight up Ohaka, but I'm gonna just say it's the province of Ohaka and go from there. Um, like, is there a native Lichtensteinian? Native Andorran? Like, or is it just, now nah, we were part of France, we said, now nah, we don't like you no more, we're gonna be our own thing. But, anyway. Uh,. Ignacio Zaragoza. I do remember when uh, my boss at the time, probably one of the best bosses I've ever had, would come back. He would have Ohakan chocolate and he'd make a hot chocolate out of it. And I'm going to forget exactly Santa Cruz Capulan. Am I just... Um, I don't know if anything... I think that's a guy's name. I know the Zaragoza could be also a place, but... It said Oaxaca. I'm gonna go here, too. It was an interesting... I think it was like a spicy chocolate they have there. But it was good. Um, Alright. I have to chug here for the last couple of seconds. Mm. Okay, maybe just sip. I don't want to sit here and get too crazy between just on Monday alone. it's it's It'll start, um, I guess, hitting me, you could say, once, uh, okay, it was, uh, it was in the province of Oaxaca. But, no, I did not see that. No, I did not see that. Uh, I guess I'll take another drink. Hmm. Alright. We've been pretty lucky so far, although this may be uh, he is driving too fast for us to see him. We've been lucky so far with the um, locations, you could say, not being one of the two big ones. And I guess if I see if we have it across one of those two, <clears throat> again per the rules, I have to take a drink. Well, it's not a shot. Uh, I think this is the emergency number you dial is 191. I do not know the country that has 191 as their phone number. But this could be Brazil. And if it is, 
Uh, well, you know the rules. Tramportes, Riqueza, whatever. Ah, uh, wait, but what was on that door? Just an H. For some reason, it's like I thought it was like the seal of whatever they were from. That truck's here. Come on, truck. I'm going to say this is probably Brazil again. Transporte Logicia. Tell you one of the f more fun things. I had a very boring childhood. Dabiar. Well, we're going to take a drink once this comes up. One of the most. I had a boring childhood because one of the most fun things to do was actually put it on Telemundo, even though I never spoke a, leak, uh, a lick of Portuguese. No, Portuguese, excuse me, Spanish. And I would watch movies with their Spanish dub over it just because. It was funny to me, just listening. Weird language. Don't understand. Get a giggle out of it. Mm. So now I'm just clicking along to see if I don't see one of the road signs to help me. A road marker, per se, to let me know what highway this is. Because we know the little rule with road numbers. If they're highways, it will say... Like, the province that the road is, and then there'll be a number after it, and that'll help me. But... I don't know if we're going to be lucky here. Like, uh, I went and visited Florida once as a kid, and I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, Florida was terrible, but it kind of was. And I, I, I heard an uh, interesting thing talking about um, the... Ooh, we are going to get the province thing here. Or BR-153, or we won't. <laughs> Is there a BR province... All right, I'm not going to forget the little thing I was going to talk about. You won't let me either, okay? I don't think this is going to help us because it's just BR-153. No, this is too big. We'll just maybe see if we can't see it. But... Um... One... Fifty-three, no? No, come on. Come on. Come on. Just let me see you. 155. 153. Ah, ha, ha. We got how big is 153? Not very. Is there a province? No. Okay. Um, the reason that, you know, Florida Man is such a big thing, it has to do with a law they actually have in the in the state. I think it's called the Sunshine Law, being that a lot of the information that has been that is uh, has to do with crime and cr uh, like anything criminal related gets, um, I think, released to the press or anybody who wants to see it way faster and easier. There isn't so much of a level of anonymity when it comes to being charged with a crime in the state. Um, it's just way more available to anybody who would want to look for it. So, the reason... Oh, God. That was Brazil. Oh, I did forget to take a drink. Pardon me. I'm going to have to take one after this because this is probably Australia again. But, hmm. The only reason it seems crazy is like, oh, Florida man... Did 20 cartwheels and robbed a bank with a shoe on his head. It's like, oh, Florida's crazy. It's really not much crazier than the rest of the U.S. at least, but I guess we can't go that way. Like, it matters. It just happens that it's more accessible to the press and anybody who actually wants to look for it than any of the other states, at least in... Okay, this is dumb. How am I, what am I supposed to do with this? It's a... a, a extremely dumb narrow strip of land that oh reduce speed thank you super informative road that for some reason now we're just going to take a thousand yard chunk of it and uh, call that all you need to see in this road for some reason, this is pretty decent quality right in this in this strip. And then the rest of it is like, nah, mate, you don't, you don't see before or after this. Just copy-paste this, and you've got the entire 
oceanic island continent which is an oxymoron because all continents really are just uh just islands that was not an accent of anything i won't apologize for it i'll just say that it really mm, didn't matter so next time you see something for florida man and think that the state itself is insane and dumb it's really not it just happens that information far more accessible to anybody who wants to find it freedom of, inf Ugh, freedom of information you could say just at a way higher level when it comes to that state mm. so i think our hopes and dreams of getting any decent score are about to be squandered by no idea all right remember where this is again if i was close to my first guess and move way away from where it potentially could have been more points if i didn't change the location i was to take another drink i'll save i'm gonna move it because i'm an idiot and i'm gonna do this but i'm sure that as soon as i get down to this edge of the road i'm not gonna see any signs anywhere oh was that a sign i think i just wished a sign to come into existence yep no okay well i mean if this turns out to be south africa this is gonna be really killing my score am i gonna be able to go farther than i was for some reason i clearly hit a dead end on this road yeah there it is all right, I'm going to change my guess to, uh, it really doesn't matter where I put it. Um, well, let's just go here and eh, I'm not going to sit here for another 20 minutes. I'm going to 20 seconds. I'm just going to drink while I hit my guess and then see where the score is. I'll open my eyes. You'll hear me go mm, when I'm looking. Hmm. Well, I was closer on my first guess, so, uh, by my own rules. Oh. Jesus, this can's almost done. This is a pint. I mean, it's only 5.7 alcohol by volume. I didn't want to give you four stars, but think of it as the inverse of what it should have been. This, uh, is this England? Like, is this like a sign with the dashes on the side of the road? Like a English roadway? No. Okay, this said something. Whoa, I this is really disorienting. What's it say? Sil ooh. Alright, we're up here. It's just a matter of which of these we are. We have to look for the hymen, the hymen way. Uh, I want to go straight. Thank you. I want to come back. Sli u, sli. A lot of big bone women live on the hymen way. Um, that could be Irish, Gaelic, whatever. Pardon me. Like, I don't know if it's, uh, ignorant or dumb to be like, you guys speak a stupid dumb language just, what was it, 10 minutes ago I was talking about how cool, uh, Switzerland had their own. Okay, I'm not saying anything. Switzerland had their own native language that no one really knows about and no one really talks, speaks, I should say. All right, give me. Kiltornmer. Gah. This is like if aliens were trying to imitate English, but would just take what they thought we said 
and make signs and hope that no one would actually notice or pay attention. Because... I'm not... Well, that's the EU. Training for employment in rugby club. Oh, we got rugby. I don't think I could... Granted, I came in... I, I grew up in the United States of America and there was really not much rugby until I got to uh, college. And it seems backwards, at least from a money standpoint, because school's investment in uh, rugby, if they were to do it compared to what football is, way less. You could get more bang for your buck. Think It's just basically buying soccer uniforms and uh, playing with a different ball. I don't know if you call it a... you call that thing a ball? Like McCulloch. Uh, isn't that a Scottish thing? We'll just put you there for now. Like they also talk about um, hockey. It's a super expensive sport if you were to uh, try to partake in it. Just because of all the pads and the skates and everything else, you gotta pay for it. But soccer, one of the reasons why it's one of the most popular sports in the world. The only thing you need to play it is a ball. It's uh, super cheap. Very easy to understand and get people to, uh... Garbali meats. Beef, lamb, and pork. That does not help me. This might. If I look for more. Port Omna. Um, I'm doing it. I'm putting this over here. Iyer. Oh, man. That feels Welsh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. I got the island right. Sweet. I take a little sippy here. Mm. Good on you, Ireland. I learned my lesson from last game. Oh, shit. All right, I'm going to write this score down for the rest of the week. Monday. One pint down, we have one eight. There's Specs on my piece of paper. This is a very dirty desk. It's, it needs to be cleaned. Just notes and paper everywhere. I did real good, except for that right there. But this is the, uh, not, well, not inaugural. This is on the anniversary of said one year of channel. Not the year of doing GeoGuessr, but uh, celebration as me and Evo celebrate the one year anniversary of our first video being put up on the channel. Uh, check out the rest of the stuff we got in the channel there. would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you, oh, excuse me. If you want to see more of this train wreck of me gradually getting more buzzed, if not drunk, on GeoGuessr, come back for Wednesday's uh, video where I finish the other pint. And then for Friday's, gonna have to go to the tequila and i hate tequila but anyway thank you all for watching me do appreciate it here at hobby fist if you could please like favorite comment subscribe all that fun stuff tell your friends make suggestions about people you like to see me try to collab with uh i can go out looking for some people but if you give me some leads to start with i'll uh see if i can't make any headways there but uh for all of us over here thank you all for watching and we will see you next time